Hello, this is a short video about the upgrade to the image library. The image library um, was moved to Open Asset in September 2012 and there's now a new version of Open Asset available. And what I want to do in this video is talk you through some of those key features. As you may notice, the layout of the screen is different. A search and the other functions are now located at the top of the screen rather than to the left. The searching has improved on the latest version of Open Asset and the advanced search and the simple search has been combined in this one search bar. If I wanted to look for a project such as Media City, I would just type in here and as I start typing the first few letters, it automatically brings up suggestions as to what I might be looking for. So there's my project here, I'm going to click on that. And this will bring back all the images associated with the Media City project. And I'm, I'm seeing at the top here a search trail, so I can continue to search within here if I wanted to. Alternatively, I could clear the search and start again. Try a different project this time, Cabot. Cabot there. And it's brought back 340 images. So if I was to look for something within that search, let's put the word bridge. Go for building typology. Ooh, none. So let me delete that. I'm sure there are some bridges with, within. Elements of building. And that's brought back a lot more images. This is just a test system you're seeing at the moment. So that's brought back 50 images. Um, and if I wanted to have a look at the images that I'm allowed to send externally, I put the word in external. So access level is external use. Ah, all 50 of them are actually allowed to be used externally. So I've created this search trail up here and as you can see I can delete one particular part of the search trail and still search within. The thing to remember is if you started to look for a different project or different images entirely you have to make sure that you clear the search in order to start again. Alternatively you might decide to save this search because you're going to use it quite a bit. So can save the search here and let's call it um, Cabot Circus External Bridge. Then at a later date if I want to come back and find this search I can just come in here save searches, here they are, there's my save search, or alternatively I can go to my browse menu and have a look at any save searches in there. And there it is, Cabot Circles, exter Circus External Bridge. I'm going to go back to the home page now. Now on the home page you can see the latest images, the best images. You can also click on a particular sector and see all the drawings, the images associated with that sector. Um, here are some company albums that have been made by the graphics team and you can click on there to go straight to those images. The search cloud, this monitors what everybody else is searching for and the writing gets bigger the more times people search for, for um, particular keywords. So if I click on airport, that will take me to the images associated with airports. What I want to show you now is the carousel. So if I scroll down to the bottom, you'll see this show button and hide button. So I click on that. Any images I select will appear at the bottom. So 
So let's just take a few of them, take the first four, then they should appear in my carousel at the bottom here. Then from here I can decide what to do with them. I can create a PowerPoint presentation, I can um, do a contact sheet, a zip file, a spreadsheet. So all these features were in the older version of Open Asset. This just makes them easier to compile. This is the new asset bar, which I'll show you a bit more in detail. Um, first of all, I think I'll show you this slideshow. So if I launch the slideshow, so if you're doing a presentation to some clients, um, you may want to select your images and put them in the carousel, and then you can show the slideshow. And I can just scroll along here. If you want to time the slideshow and be automatic, there's a timer at the top. And you can also hit F11 and then it displays the full screen. And if I come down here and hit the button show, it shows extra information about that particular image. So it shows you the file details, any key words associated with that image, and also the project details. When I want to exit the slideshow, I just click on there. So if I come down to the carousel again, um, I've also got the option to add to an album. download and the drag and drop facility. So as you can see it puts it in the asset bar at the top here. Then I'm going to select all of those images. You can clear the selection or change them, remove it from the asset bar and I can also change the size of the images as well. And then I can drag and drop into InDesign um, or Word or whatever you want to drag and drop them into. I don't have InDesign on this test system, so I'm just going to open Word and show you the drag and drop. It's exactly the same as if you were using InDesign. And just drag them in. This saves having to save them and then insert them. Minimize that for a second and then I can show you that the images are in there. So let's close that down and let's open the image library, open asset again. Similarly, you can click on here, create a PowerPoint. Showing you today how to use the search bar. Um, the advanced search is there, by the way, but the search trail will probably be fine for most of what you're trying to do. I've also showed you the carousel and how to create slideshow and the extra information around an image. There are lots more features, so if you want to have a look at the rest of them, I'll direct you now to the website that you would need to go to. Exomic are the company that create Open Asset and they've got this help page here. So you need to go to http colon forward slash forward slash help dot dot com and what they have here are various videos and information pages on all the functionality of Open Asset. So can tell you some more about save searches, search bar, slideshow and tiles. 
how to use the browse function, how to create an album, carousel, contact sheet, drag and drop and so forth. And how you might want to manage projects, albums, keywords and etc. Um, your home page, you can even customise your home page as well. So do have a look at that, um, especially if you're using the image library a lot. So that concludes this video on the new features of Open Asset. I hope you um, enjoy using the new version and thank you very much.